Are you ready to get started on partial interval recording? Partial interval recording means we are observing whether or not a behavior occurred during a specific time period. For example, we are interested in knowing the percentage of time the member rocked back and forth during music class. Or maybe we're interested in understanding the percentage of time the young man remained seating, he remained seated during a reading class. So we're trying to get approximations of the behavior. We, when do we use this recording method? Typically, when you don't have a lot of time to do data collection, this is a good one, when you don't have time to do it continuously. But you want to get an approximation of the behavior, like the degree to which it occurs. And again, it's typically a low frequency behavior that we're observing. This method is best for measuring a behavior we typically want to decrease. There are three steps in conducting partial interval recording. First, we define the behavior clearly and we also define the interval length. An example of interval lengths could be 10 seconds we're measuring, one minute, or five minutes, and then we observe. The second step, at the end of each interval, we record whether or not the behavior happens at any time during the interval. And we typically use a plus sign for if the behavior occurred and a minus sign if it did not. And we circle the, the positive or the negative. Remember, it doesn't matter how many times the behavior happens in the interval, just whether or not it happened. Third, count up all of the positives and divide by the total number of intervals observed. Then you multiply by 100 to get a percentage. In this example, we have a young learner engaging in property destruction. It starts with a slapping his hand. Let's measure the topography of banging his open palm on the tabletop. Our plan would ultimately be to decrease this problem behavior. Let's see if he engages in this behavior over two one minute intervals. We'll need you to take out your stopwatch or your timer. I love you. Say to say, say you love mommy and Joanne. So, how did you do? Yes, the child hit the table. Yes, in both one minute intervals, we add up the positives and get two. Two positives divided by two intervals equals one. Times 100 gives us 100%. 
the child engaged in this problem behavior approximately 100% of the time using partial interval recording.